Armaos pues con este encantado escudo de la virtud Y esta poderosa espada de la verdad Que estas armas de la justicia triunfarán sobre el mal Ahora venid, hay que apresurarse Tendrás que vértelas conmigo, príncipe. Y con todos los poderes de Lucifer. La verdad vuela veloz y segura. Que el mal perezca y el bien prevalezca. Sin duda, el docente de la era de la información es un héroe que con las armas adecuadas y con la ayuda de vida puede enfrentar y combatir grandes males como por ejemplo la ignorancia. En la era industrial, el rol del docente era fundamental, pero ya en esta era de la información es protagónico. Justamente de esto hablaremos en esta sesión, cuyo propósito es reflexionar sobre el perfil del docente para enseñar competencias informáticas. De hecho, de esto estábamos hablando con la doctora Yolanda Campos. Vamos a iniciar con esa plática. Adelante. Y ahí precisamente es donde quiero que nos apoyes, Ricardo. ¿Cuál es el perfil para este diplomado? Ah, caray. Pues es una pregunta fundamental, doctora, muy importante. Pues yo creo que lo primero que haría es yo le pediría a los participantes que vieran un segmento de esta película y que describieran al profesor que aparece ahí. Muy bien, ¿no? Eh, pues díselos, ellos están ahí, platícales. ¿De verdad? ¿Están ahí? Ah, hola, estimados participantes, qué gusto saludarlos. Ah, bueno, pues entonces les invito a ver esta cápsula, este segmento de, de la película que traigo, y después, como trabajo en sede, les pido que comenten la visión que ustedes creen que tiene este profesor acerca de la docencia. Y, por cierto, eh, si reconocen al autor que interpreta el docente, pues a ver si ahí lo comentan en su sede. Bueno, pues vamos a ponerlo. Aquí mismo. A ver. Even though that thing sounds like a fairy tale to me, you gave them an A for that? I gave them a big plus. What? A B plus. They were loose on their stats. You know, I heard you. Why aren't you telling me about the students who got an A? 
because I don't remember them right now. So what? Attendance is a prerequisite for you, but grades aren't. Aha! You're onto the secret now, Todd. It's called potential. And believe me, that's a far better signal of what you might do than getting an A in some class you might forget about in two or three years. Sounds a lot like what kids with 2.4s tell uh, themselves uh, just by all the C's. That's very nice, but neither got C's. Maybe both got blue collar B's. Not by quitting. You happy they're over there? Todd, I told you twice. I did everything I could to stop them. But revere the reasons they didn't. Yeah. So I'm supposed to listen to your advice. This, this direction you're trying to give me, even though the two you've been telling me about didn't listen. They went ahead, they did what they were going to do anyway. Okay, maybe, hmm. just maybe, you might be dropping the hammer on me because of how, how rarely you find a student you think is worth the time and how often it sounds like you fail at getting through once you did find those students. Actually, the failing started about 10... Maybe 15 years ago. You know, the truth is, Todd, I used to knock meetings like this out of the park. And what changed? You. The students sitting across from me. Because we're more shrewd, because we see how things work, because we don't want to die for these pieces of shit. Because you want to put as much distance between yourself and the real world as possible. And these pieces of shit, by the way, how many times are you going to say that? They bank on your apathy. They bank on your willful ignorance. They plan strategies around it. They try to figure out how much they can get away with because of it. So blame me for it all. Blame me, because I, I might just want to live the good life, because I can, because I'm smart enough to. You gonna blame me? <laughs> because I don't want to work elbow to elbow with you on a goddamn collective farm? <laughs> Doc, you are sounding a hell of a lot like my parents. Mm. They're always harping on how they're giving me a better life than they ever had. And then, then they resent the shit out of me because I got the nerve to enjoy it. Todd, what good is a $90,000 Benz? If there's not only not enough gas in the tank, but the streets and the highways are decaying to the point of becoming third world. If all your rants about Congress and politics are true, Todd, if things are really bad, as bad as you say they are, when thousands of American troops are dead and more are dying every day, probably as we speak, you tell me, how can you enjoy the good life? Rome is burning, son. And the problem is not with the people that started this. They're past irredeemable. The problem is with us, all of us, who do nothing, who just fiddle, who try to maneuver around the edges of the flame. And I'll tell you something, there are people out there, day to day, all over the world, that are fighting to make things better. You think it's better to have tried and failed than failing to try, right? Yeah. But what is the difference if you end up in the same place? At least you did something. Read the sign. Wait. Are we done? Okay. Here's my last bit. So bear with me. The decisions you make now, bud, can't be changed. But with years and years of hard work to redo it. And in those years, you become something different. Everybody does as time passes. You get married, you get into debt. But you're never going to be the same person you are right now. And promise and potential, it's very fickle. And it just might not be there anymore. Are you assuming I already made a decision? And also that I'll live to regret it? All I'm saying is that you're an adult now. And the tough thing about adulthood is that it, it starts before you even know it starts. When you're already a dozen decisions into it. But what you need to know, Todd, no lifeguards watching anymore. You're on your own. You're your own man. And the decisions you make now are yours and yours alone from here until the end. Sorry, the sign says till 8, and it's way after 8. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. So you, you don't want my decision? Class meets again Tuesday at 9. I'll find out then. Okay, we'll move it.